Welcome to Grade 7 Science Class. In your previous lessons, you learned about the science as the body of knowledge, Filipino and foreign scientists with their contributions, and scientific attitudes. For today's lesson, you will learn more about the scientific method. What is scientific method? Scientific method is defined as a method of research in which a problem is identified, relevant data is gathered, a hypothesis is formulated from this data, and a hypothesis is empirically tested. In simple term, scientific method is a process of identifying a problem and finding a solution for that certain problem which should be based on facts. Basically, there are six steps in scientific method. First, identify the problem. Second, literature or research or public work based on the problem. Third, hypothesis. Fourth, experiment or gathering of data. Fifth, analyzing of data. And last but not the least, conclusion. In identifying the problem, a scientific question is being asked to find an answer. Sometimes, finding the answer is easy, sometimes otherwise. Scientists are clear and specific to make the problem understandable. When correct question is asked at the start, a clear picture of how to solve the problem can be achieved. This is a simple example of identifying the problem why our food on the table is being swarmed by the ants. After identifying the problem is related literature, a research or published work. A published work on a particular subject. Scientists study reports, books, and other research results about the topic being found to find out what is really known of the problem. In other terms, literature or published research about the problem being asked. Scientists also do a background research of the problem being asked to help them think or formulate for the possible answers to the problem. Example published work is from Michael Caspery. In ants, we are increasingly seeing that carbohydrates are just critical for colony function. Next is hypothesis. It is an educated guess or possible answer to the problem. We based hypothesis from the literature. Hypothesis can be formulated based from literature read, prediction of events, observation, and inference. Example hypothesis or the possible answer to our problem a while ago is that our food in the table is sweet and ants are fond of sweets. This hypothesis was based on the literature. Remember in our literature a while ago from Michael Caspery, he stated that carbohydrates are critical for ants' colony function. Sugars are short-chain carbohydrates found in food. Next is the experiment or the gathering of data. This is a scientific test of hypothesis. This is based on the formulated hypothesis. Once you have your hypothesis, it must be tested in order to know if your hypothesis is correct. Hypothesis has to be tested by independent and dependent variable in a scientific experiment. Independent variable is the variable being changed or controlled, while dependent variable is the variable being tested and measured. This is an example experiment. We have three setups. First, leave the cake and french fries on the table for one hour. Second, leave the candy and popcorn on the table for one hour. And third, leave the cotton candy and fish on the table for one hour. As you can observe, cake, candy, and cotton candy are sweets containing sugar. While french fries, popcorn, and fish are food with no sugar or little sugar. This is the test if ants are really fond of sugar. Now, let us identify the dependent variable and independent variable in the experiment. Let us recall that dependent variables are variables being tested. 
Now, what are the dependent variables in the experiment? The dependent variables are cake, candy, and cotton candy, which are the sweet foods, french fries, popcorn, fish, which are the salty foods. These are the things or variables we are trying to test in the experiment. We are trying to test whether the ants will swarm sweet foods or swarm salty foods. Now, what are the independent variables or the variables being controlled? The independent variables are the amount of food and the time. The amount of each foods in the experiment is 20 grams while the time is 1 hour. Remember that independent variables are the one being controlled or changed. If you want the experiment to take longer, you can change the time. You can also change the amount of food. After the experimentation is the analyzing of data. Scientists make objective observations, record accurate data, and interpret results. Observations are made by using different sense organs. In our experiment a while ago, we are using our sense of sight, since we are trying to see which food will be swarmed by the ants. Scientists give meaning to the data gathered and make interpretations with the support of literature read. In analyzing data, we are trying to observe what happened or what is the result in our experiment in order to make a conclusion. Let us take for example, this is the result of our experiment. The result of the first pair of food we tested is, both swarmed but cake is swarmed by the ants more than the french fries. The result of the second pair of food is both swarmed but the candy is swarmed by the ants more than the popcorn. The result of the third pair of food is both swarmed but cotton candy is swarmed by the ants more than fish. If you will analyze the data carefully, you will observe that cake, candy, and cotton candy which are sweet foods are swarmed by the ants more than the other foods. But you have also to take note that french fries Popcorn and fish are still swarmed by the ants. After analyzing the data is your conclusion. Conclusion is the answer to the problem raised by scientists. It confirms or rejects the tentative answer, which is our hypothesis. After, scientists share their work and accept constructive criticism to improve research. Conclusion is based on the analyzed data. And based on our analyzed data a while ago, our conclusion would be Ants are fond of sweets, however, they do not eat sweets exclusively. Remember that our hypothesis a while ago is ants are fond of sweets. Our conclusion confirms that our hypothesis is correct. Example problem Read and try to answer.
As you can see, in this problem, literature is not applied. Thank you for watching. For more grade 5 to 10 science lessons, click the subscribe button below.